his seven-month-old Barney. He may look like a healthy Yorkie, but just a few weeks ago, he was a very sick pup. He was very subdued when I brought him home. The next day he started coughing and choking. It was distressing to hear. He was coughing up this huge amounts of mucus. I really wanted a pure Yorkshire Terrier. That was very much my criteria. We took Barney to visit the vet, Chris Lawrence, at the Dogs Trust, where it became clear Tracy hadn't got the pedigree she'd paid for. Do you think he's a cross? He's certainly very big for the Yorkshire Terrier, yes. I mean, I'm, I'm no expert in Yorkies, um, so his ears are not, not quite right, are they? But it's size that's the, the critical thing, really. He's just too big. Talking of his pedigree, this is what um, Billy was given when they brought Barney home. Is that your standard pedigree no, document? No, it's not, no. And the legal definition of pedigree is that they have to be registered with an organisation. Well, that doesn't give you any idea that he's registered with any organisation. So, that legally, that's not a pedigree. I feel disappointed. I feel like I've been robbed because that's not what I bought. So where does the responsibility lie? We put the question to Chris Lawrence. It's the licensing authority, which in this case is Chel Chelmsford Borough Council. They're responsible for issuing her license. They issue a new one every year. They can change the conditions every year if they want to, to, to keep up with the things that they can show that she's not doing. It's inexcusable. They have the ability there to do it under the law. And for over a decade now, they've sat on their hands and done very little.